What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Thomas and today I'm on a road trip in my 8th gen Honda Civic Si driving from Indiana to Arizona stopping for a little bit of gas shout out to BP we love your oil spills we love it all we have the car all packed up ready to rock Scruffy, Scruffy. are you driving us to Arizona we're just outside of St. Louis we're trucking right along we got the get upside gas saver Alright, so it's been a few hours and over the past little while, the AC unfortunately has kind of ceased to blow any sort of cold air. We were freaking out because it's just so hot and our dog was getting a little, a little hot. So I of course pulled up a YouTube video, looked up how to fix a Honda Civic. AC yourself and just could not figure out what was wrong. Everything was seemingly working fine before um, and now it just doesn't blow any air at full blast. It barely blows anything but somehow I called some random Honda dealership in the middle of Missouri. Shout out to uh, Roper Honda in Joplin, Missouri and they are gonna squeeze me in in the next 30 minutes, which is just insane, in the next hour or so. So I'm gonna go there, said it could take up to like two hours, but or not even that long, like an hour and a half. So I'm super psyched about that. Hopefully it's nothing too bad. Keep y'all updated, but you know, the open road, hey, it's unforgiving. So we're gonna see how this goes. not pulling in. Oh, there goes that. All right, so two hours later at Roper Honda in Joplin, Missouri, AC is fully back on. That goes in the glove box. And what could have been a disaster ended up not being too bad. Let's get back on the road. Hope we make it to Oklahoma City, maybe a little farther. We shall see. Day two, we're live from the motel, Stratford House in Oklahoma City. It was a pretty crazy day, day one, honestly. Getting the AC broken and fixed all in the same day was huge. We're now setting out for Phoenix. Um, I think we can make like 12 hours in a day. Yesterday, our total travel time was like close to 14 and a half hours, not including uh, the delays and stuff. So on the road, I think 12 is easily possible. So we're gonna see what happens and I'm gonna set up some GoPros today, get some shots of outside of the car and see how it looks. So hope you guys have been enjoying so far. Remember to like and subscribe. Peace.
Silhouettes of you are like a taunt Never really know just what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palm Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back for more even when I've been screwed Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through I got issues in my head, I like you in my bed But you keep me on red, oh Everything is like a test, I better not text or I'll come off desperate But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead Baby you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head under my Dead. Will you regret everything that you did, that you said I don't think you understand what you're doing And my heart's black and blue from the bruising I feel like when I'm with you I'm losing I feel like you think that this amusing Sitting there gaslighting and confusing Was it me, is it me, am I deluded? I'm the one who's always sorry, the conclusion Even though I offer all of the solutions I wish you loved me like I love you, it's stupid When I'm alone with you, I never feel lucid I wish I wasn't struck by Cupid I wish when I first saw you, I knew this When I'm with you, I feel so useless I feel diluted, my heart's been wounded Silhouettes of you are like a dawn Never really noticed what you want with you, I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palm Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever want to give me wings So it's one week later and we finally made it to Phoenix, Arizona The U-Haul U-Box shipment that I sent over 11 days in advance is still not here yet which i cannot believe i truly cannot believe it and right now i'm going to the front office to see what i need to do to let in the u-haul delivery driver with our pods but uh yeah this whole process has been crazy so if you ever use u-haul u-box shipping be prepared that the shipping company they use could just fuck up and <laughs> it can really fuck up your move you know we've had to sleep on air mattresses uh, go to goodwill to get pots and pans the basics eat out a lot pay for coffee every morning instead of using my coffee maker it's the little things but i'm lucky that i brought a lot of stuff with me in the car but it's still a big pain in the ass when you get to someplace new especially arizona in the middle of the fucking summer and you don't have any of your stuff, so you box struggles. <laughs> What's up guys? It's about just over two weeks later and I'm sitting here editing my video. Well, not right now, I'm driving my car now, but I was editing my video and just wanted to kind of put a little, a little stop, a little bookmark on the end of it. Um, I realized that my GoPro audio was pretty much worthless. So apologies for any road noise and just 
really unintelligible speech for me. It's why I did the montage 30 Hours by Kanye West. I feel the best road trip song because you be driving. And I damn near drove 30 hours. So, hope y'all enjoyed that. Shout out to YouTube Copyright System. I don't even make money from my YouTube videos anymore, which is awesome. I guess I just wanted to say, you know, the road trip from Arizona or from Indiana to Arizona was awesome. Uh, it really sucked that our AC broke, but we got it fixed on the road. Currently, I'm still dealing with that issue right now. Um, my buddy works at a Honda dealership here in the Phoenix area, and I was able to get my car serviced. And I gave him the shop papers of the you know, dealership on the road that I went to, and they took a look at it, and they couldn't find anything wrong with my AC because as I you know, moved into my new place in, in Arizona, I started to notice that my AC would overheat almost, like it would stay cold for a while, you know, a good 20, 30 minutes into a drive, but I think 30 minutes is stretching it. Like right now, we got a little bit of AC, but I'm predicting, you know, when I'm 10 minutes out from the dealership, it's gonna turn hot. So uh, not ideal in the heat advisory summer of, of Arizona when it can get up to, you know, 115 degrees, which is just bananas. Um, but it's definitely really cool out here. Uh, I've been loving it so far. And I'm just not too worried about getting this kind of stuff fixed, you know? Like I used to be the type of guy who would get pissed off anytime something wouldn't go my way. And let's hear some VTAC noise as we merge the highway. Oh yeah. Come on, Buick. Let me write out this K20, baby. Come on now. I love the highways out here. Before I finish that thought. Oh, Tesla. Jesus. All right. Everyone out here, it's like that type of thing where everyone's kind of driving fast and merging left and passing. As long as you stay in the flow of traffic and you're checking your blind spots and you're not being a dumbass, you're gonna be just fine. Just fine. That should be fine, just fine. Fine, just fine. Yeah. But uh, what I was saying earlier about these things that happen in our lives, AC going out, shit happening, bad circumstances, the sunlight, I'm sure in audio is just terrible, so I'm gonna try to speak loud. I really need to get a lav mic. I, just, I need to commit to this YouTube thing. I've been doing it more consistently lately, so apologies for the sound. I can utilize it a little bit, but anyway, you know, when this kind of stuff happens, it can be very easy to get super upset and resentful towards the situation. Like, oh my car, it's a piece of shit. It, there's no reason why the AC shouldn't just always work. Well, it's like, you know, AC units, usually always work, you know, in most cars. I haven't really ever had problems with any AC in my car before, and I've owned cars for, you know, about 10 years. So, in all that time, I think maybe a few times I've had little AC electrical problems, but nothing really. Like, that's pretty good, man. You know, these, these cars, these vehicles, we have to maintain them, and Sometimes that maintenance on a 2009 Civic Si will turn out to be like, yeah, the AC will get a little faulty, the compressor will go bad. I might have to replace that today. Um, Cause you know, last week they were able to, I guess, vacuum my system and you know recharge it, uh, and that didn't fix the problem because they said that they were able to get to low cold, and literally when I fired it up. Not at all. A little TRD Camry right there. Let's see. TRD Camry. That didn't do anything, so which kind of sucks. And I was, I was like super pissed. Like I say that I am the type of guy to not get pissed. Man, I'll tell you, last week I was shitty as fuck. It was hot as shit. My phone kept overheating from the sun and the heat. It is like six in the morning right now, and it is. 89 degrees out. The morning's actually not bad. 
you know, a dry 90 is like pretty solid. But uh, anyway, when you're, you know, overheating in your car and there's no AC, it sucks ass, man. It sucks. Luckily, I was able to get on the 101 and figure out where the fuck I was going. But overall, like, I made this crazy life change, uh, moved across the country. I had some stuff go wrong with my U-Haul. Like, you know, it was like either complain about it or just like do what you can about the situation and just uh, make the best of it. Um, there's something really powerful about just accepting your situation as being difficult and unfortunate, but not the end of the world. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of add this on to the video. I don't know how much of it I'm going to use, but thank you guys so much for watching. Don't get mad at your car if it breaks down. Shit happens. And I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.